Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Francesco and with this video we're going to cover a portion of the solution to homework one, question one, which you've been directed to in this video from reviewing the video for topic two. I'm going to link topic two in the description below so that you know where to find that topic if you need to review the concepts behind it. Furthermore, I also want to let you know that the timestamps have been added to the timeline of this video so you can jump to different portions of this video as needed, especially when you come back. I want to show you the question we're going to be covering is this one right here. Now, we're not going to be covering every single one of these questions. We're going to do some of them because you'll see as we start doing some of them, it will make sense how to do all of them. But I do want to point out that we're definitely going to be using this resource for the purposes of solving this question. So that is within Appendix A, we're going to be using sentence A dash 3.1.2.11. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly what this looks like. It's that portion of the Appendix A that has a whole bunch of different examples of the different major occupancies uh, depending on the building classification. So everywhere from Group A Division 1 all the way to Group A Division three. Okay, it has examples everywhere, and that's what we're going to be using. So let's get started. We're going to start with supermarket right here. And again, a quick reminder that we want to use this resource sentence 3.1.2.11 in Appendix A. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to look for this name, this description in this appendix. So let's do that. Here we have Appendix A. And as you can see, it's laid out in alphabetical order, where for every group and division, you'll notice that it has a description in alphabetical order of a whole bunch of different examples for that group and division. So we're going to read all of them. Now I've done that for you, but you have to read all of them, starting here, going all the way to here. Okay, you want to read everything from here and in between and see how many times the word supermarket appears. I've done that work for you and I found that right here under group E, I found supermarket right here. Okay, now if you remember what is group E, group E is mercantile. And how did I get that? I got that from three table 3.1.2.1. Okay, that's the name for it. But go back in uh, topic two and you can review exactly how I, how I got that. Okay. So that's it. We found that this is group E mercantile. So that's exactly what we're going to write in our solution right here. Therefore, supermarket is group E. Now I'm also going to add mercantile to this, but you don't have to. You wouldn't have to unless you've been asked to identify it, but it is good practice to do that. So that wasn't too bad, right? As long as we know to go here to Appendix e, A to find that, it's going to be a breeze. So how about we do the next one, Repair Garage. So what we want to do is we want to make reference to Appendix A, Sentence 3.1.2.11, and we want to see anything that reads like Repair Garage. So let's do that right here. So I just this is where I left off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and again, employ the same process. I'm going to read everything starting from the beginning all the way to the end right here. Okay, everything, every time you have to do this. So what I'm looking for is repair garages. And I'm going through A1. So group A division one, I don't see repair garages. And again, the nice thing is that these are set up in alphabetical order. So find R or something similar. However, if it's your first time, just read everything. Nothing that I could find here. So I'm going to go to A2. Is there anything like repair garages? Nothing here. So I'm going to go to A3. Anything like repair garages? Uh, nope. How about A4 right here? No, I don't see repair garages. How about B1? No, I don't see repair garages. So I continue doing this. And what ends up happening is that the first time I see repair garages is actually right there. 
under Group F Division 2, or F2 for short. I don't find repair garages anywhere else, so that tells me that repair garages is F2, medium hazard industrial occupancy. So that's what I'm going to make a note of. So I'm going to bring up my question right here, and I'm going to make a note of that repair garages is an F2 major occupancy which is medium hazard industrial. Now, how do I know that that's the name of F2? Again, I got the name of that occupancy from table 3.1.2.1 in division B, volume one of the Ontario Building Code. But what we're looking for for this homework is what the major occupancy is, which is F2. This is great because I also showed the reference that I used to obtain that information. Awesome, full marks. Let's move on to restaurant. Let me adjust this a bit more so that we can do this question. And as you know by now, we're going to start by figuring out the major occupancy. And we're going to be using this sentence in Appendix A, which is 3.1.2.11. So let's go there. Let me make that appear on the screen. Here is our reference, our major references from uh, <laughs> Appendix A. So we're going to do the same thing again. We are looking for restaurant. So we're going to start right here. Whoops, sorry about that. We're going to start right here from Group A, Division 1, or A1 for short, and see if we can find restaurant. So I'm going to read everything here. There is nothing restaurant there. So I'm going to move on to A2. Is there anything for restaurant here? And I read everything. Restaurant, restaurant, restaurant. No, I don't see rest. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I find restaurant right here. That's great, we're done, right? No, because remember, and this is super de duper important, okay? So I'm gonna be super goofy about this to be clear about this. We are not done because we didn't read everything all the way to the end to F3 major occupancies, and we must. Otherwise, we'll make mistakes. But here's a possibility, restaurants, okay? There's a possibility here, great. It's a possibility that restaurants might be A2. Good. Let's move on to A3. I'm going to move on to A3. Is there anything here under restaurants? I read everything. Nope, no restaurants. How about A4? I read everything here. Nope, no restaurants. Okay, so I'm going to start scratching these out just so I don't have to redo the work if I forget. Nothing here. How about uh, B1? I'm going to read everything under B1. Anything for restaurants there? No, nothing there. Okay. Whoop. Sorry about that. We're going to move on to B2. So I'm going to read everything under B2. Anything related to restaurants here? Nope. No luck. Okay. How about B3? Anything related to restaurants here? I don't see anything. So I'm going to move on to C. Anything related to restaurants here? No, not really. So nothing here. How about group D? Anything related to restaurants here? I'm going to read everything here. No, not really. So then I'm going to move on to group E. Anything related to restaurants here? Hey, look at this. So as I'm reading this, look what I find here. Restaurants with an occupant load, not more than 30 persons consuming food and drink. So this is a possibility, right? I mean, the word restaurant is there. And the only thing that's different from the one from A2 is that it has not more than 30 persons. So E, mercantile, is a possibility as well, right? And this is why you have to read all of them, because you might find that there are some major occupancies that appear, or some building uses that appear under multiple major occupancies. Anyway, move on. F1, anything related to restaurants here? I read the whole thing. No, I don't see anything here. How about... F2. Anything related to that here? Restaurants? I'm going to read the whole thing. No, no dice. How about F3? I'm going to read everything related to this. Anything related to restaurants here? No. So look at that. We are now left with two choices, A2 or E. So what are we going to do about that? Well, we have a choice or we have a couple of choices. We're just going to just going to make a note that we have a few options, right? We found out that this can either be A2 or E. And it's really dependent on whether or not there are more than 30 people that are expected to be using this space or there are less than, I believe, equal to 30 people that are using this space. So we don't know that. So if this were a real life scenario, you would have to ask and find out how many people are going to be using this restaurant. 
because then, then that will either point to A or E. For the purposes of this homework, I would accept, lacking any other information, this can be A2 or E, depending on the number of people. Okay, so this would be the final answer for this. And this is a good answer because it also provides the reference that was used for it, and we're good to go. Let's move on to the next one, police station right here. So for police station, again, we're going to be using the same reference, sentence A-3.1.2.1 under Appendix A. And let's go to Appendix A so we can see if we can find police station there. So we're going to start right here from A1, read everything and see if anything related to police station happens. And I don't see anything here. Then we're going to move on to A2. Anything related to police station here? I'm looking, 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 and it's in alphabetical order, but I look at everything and I don't see anything. I'm going to try A3, and I don't see anything here. I'm going to try A4, and I don't see anything here. I'm going to try B1. Oh, 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 look at this. So I'm looking at all of this, and I see a possibility here. I see the word police station with detention quarters. So that's a maybe. It's a possibility that it might be B1. Are we done? No, because we haven't made it all the way down to F3. We have to read everything because as we saw with restaurants, something may appear more than once. So let's do that. So let's go on to B2. Anything here for B2 for police stations? I read everything. Police stations? No, I don't see anything. I'm going to move on to B3. Right here, anything related to police stations? No, I don't see anything. And again, I read everything. Anything for C related to police stations? I don't think so, but there might be something. Police stations, police stations? No, I don't see anything. How about D? Anything related to police stations? I don't think so. This is business and personal services. Anything related to police stations? Hey, wait a minute. Look at this. There's a possibility here. It says police stations without detention quarters. Interesting. So this is another maybe under D. So that's why you always want to read all the way to the end to F3. You never know where that major occupancy might appear. Let's move on to D because I'm not done yet. Anything for police station? No, I don't see it. How about F1? Anything here in F1 related to police stations? I'm going to read everything. Police stations, police stations. No, no luck. Okay. How about F2? Anything under F2 for police stations? I'm going to read everything. Police stations? No, I don't see anything here. And finally, F3. I'm going to read everything. Anything there? No, I don't see anything. So look at this. We have a maybe with D and we have a maybe up here with B1. So let's make sure that we make a note of that. So we have B1 or what was the other one? Remember, it was D. So we have two options. And what is the difference? Do you remember what the difference was? Had to do with whether or not detention quarters were present. If they are present, then it's B1. If there are no detention quarters, then it's D. So then again, here too, I would accept as an answer B1 or D, depending on whether or not there are detention quarters. So this here would be our final answer, which is a good answer because it also provides the reference that were used. And there we go. I have another one here that's going to be a bonus, but I think this video is getting a little long, maybe. So I'm going to clip this and put it into the next video. Example number two, which will be linked for you in the description below.